Welcome to my first video of the series learning ROS using Turtle Sim. To continue, you will require a ROS installed system. Here I am using ROS Noetic in Ubuntu 20.04. Let's start ROS using ROS Core command. Open the terminal and run ROS Core. The ROS Core command will start up a ROS master, a ROS parameter server, and a ROS out logging node. Let's look what is a ROS master in official ROS wiki documentation. The ROS master provides naming and registration services to the nodes in ROS system. Also, the communication between nodes are handled by ROS master. This ROS master also provides the parameter server. Don't stack on new terms. Let's move on. Let's start turtle sim node. To start a ROS node, we have to run the command ROS run ROS package name and ROS node name. Uh, for example, to start a turtle sim node, command ROS run turtle sim turtle sim node. Here Turtle sim is the package name and turtle sim node is the node name. The turtle sim node opens a rectangular GUI and a turtle in it. So, what is a ROS node? A node is an executable program for a specific function. For example, if you want to drive a motor or need data from a sensor, we will require programs. These programs for each functions are called a nodes. But why nodes for each specific function? If you have a motor driving node for your robot and different sensor nodes, if one of the sensor detects an obstacles in the path, the sensor node can communicate to the motor driver node to stop the robot. Like this, every programs can communicate each other by making this as nodes. I just shut down everything and restarted ROS core again. Now let's check ROS node list before and after running turtle sim node. You can see the difference. A new node in the name of turtle sim is registered. When we look at the info of this new node, we can see that the turtle sim node publishes three topics and subscribes to one command velocity topic. The services provided by the nodes are also given. Let's look at the raw services first. I'm just calling a raw service by the command raw service call service name followed by arguments if any. By this we request for a service to the node and it gives us a response. Let's try other services. For better understandings, go through the ROS wiki documentation link I mentioned below. Now let's run another turtle sim node. This teleop node is used to move the turtle around. We can use arrow keys in the keyboard to move the turtle. So here the turtle teleop node is communicating to turtle sim node. These nodes are communicating each other over a ROS topic. If you look ROS node info of turtle sim and teleop turtle, you can see teleop turtle is publishing turtle one command velocity topic and turtle sim is subscribing it. The message type which is passed through these topics are geometry messages or twists. Let's use our QT tool provided by ROS for better understandings. 
you can see teleop turtle is publishing command velocity topic which is subscribed by turtle sim node the nodes are represented in oval shape and uh, topics are in rectangular shape let's look ross topic list and uh, ross topic info of command velocity topic it shows the message type the node which is publishing this topic the node which is subscribing this topic we check ross message info of geometry messages or list we can see that the messages are linear and angular velocity vectors in x y z direction now let's see info passed through command velocity topic when you press keys in turtle teleop node you can see how the velocity is published now let's publish a topic through command line for that we have to run cross topic pub hyphen rate of the message should be published then the topic name and then message type and the message here we know that the message which is published through geometry messages or list are linear and angular velocity vectors of x y z direction i am publishing 2.0 unit velocity in x direction as linear velocity and 1.8 velocity in z direction as angular velocity now you can see the result if you want to run the turtle in more time you have to change the rate at which the message is published you can use r1 to continuously publish the message that's it keep learning don't forget to like share and subscribe see you on next video